It could be the end of his political career. Morocco's designated Prime Minister Abdel Ilah bin Kiran has been sacked by the king. It follows a political impasse that's lasted five months and has brought Morocco to a standstill. Ben Kiran was reappointed by the king in October 2016 to form a new government, days after his party, the Justice and Development, won elections, consolidating its base. The conservative PJD emerged as a strong party after the 2011 mass protest movement calling for political reforms in Morocco. As the demonstrations were gaining momentum, King Mohammed VI, who holds ultimate power, introduced major constitutional reforms empowering the Prime Minister and the Parliament. At the time when the Arab world was caught up in violent protests, Morocco held elections. The PJD won the vote. But under Morocco's election law, no party can win an outright majority in the 395-seat parliament. Ben Kiran managed to put together a coalition, but the coalition collapsed in 2013 and the new government was formed. Ben Kiran managed to navigate through Morocco's complex political landscape, leading his party for a second consecutive win in the 2016 elections. But this time, the Prime Minister failed to convince his allies to form a new coalition. Divisions over key portfolios and the PJD's growing influence raised concerns among liberal and left-wing parties, accusing the PJD of being an extension of the Muslim Brotherhood. Talks to form a government stalled and the king stepped in, firing Ben Kiran. His replacement will be from the PJD. The challenge now for Ben Kiran's successor is to break the impasse and form a government. Hashem al-Barra al-Jazeera.